Congratulations on your purchase of your Utility Sport AL6096 aluminum trailer. Once all components have been removed from the box and all the proper tools assembled in front of you, go ahead and begin by going to step 4, assembling the tongue. Place the tongue upside down in the tongue guide, with the tongue stand facing up. At this point, go ahead and insert the master bolt at the base of the tongue. Make sure this bolt is extremely tight when finished. Once the rear of the tongue has been securely fastened, go ahead and remove the coupler from the boxes. The coupler will be, coupler will be installed upside down on the trailer. Remove step 5 bolts from the packaging and go ahead and assemble the coupler. Once the coupler is done, you will be asked to assemble the safety chains. The safety chains are located in the box with the appropriate bolt attached to them. After removing the nuts from the bolt on the safety chain, go ahead and find the pre-drill hole on the tongue. Once the hole has been found, go ahead and insert the bolt through the hole, again attaching the safety chains using the nut provided. This should only take a few minutes. Now locate the L-pin which is attached previously to the frame. Go ahead and insert that through the pre-drilled holes and attach the safety clip. Once this is done, go ahead and plug in the 4-pin light connector located at the rear of the tongue. Now that concludes steps 4 through 6. Right. Step 7. Lay the slipper springs in the spring track with the slipper portion of the spring installed under the pre-mounted bolt. Make sure the spring eye is facing towards the front of the trailer frame. Now step number eight, okay. attaching the fenders. The fenders are universal and can be mounted on either side. Use the 14 millimeter ratchet and 14 millimeter open end wrench to attach and securely tighten the four bolts. The washers and lock nuts are included in your blister pack. Once the fenders have been mounted, now we will attach the axle to the springs. Step 9. Use the U-bolts as shown in your assembly guide. The springs have a male nub which will match up to the female nub hole on the axle. Make sure the male nub is in the female nub hole before mounting the U-bolts. Use the 17 millimeter ratchet to attach and securely tighten the U-bolts to the axle and springs. When tightening the U-bolts, make sure to use a criss-cross tightening pattern. Do not over-tighten one bolt at a time. Again, make sure the U-bolts are securely fastened. Once the axle has been mounted, we will proceed to mounting the tire and wheel assembly. Remove the cotter pin with pliers and then remove the spindle nut from the axle. Once this is done, slide the tire and wheel assembly onto the axle. When placing the wheel on the axle, occasionally the bearings will come out. The bearings will only go in firmly one direction. Please slide all the way till snug and then reattach the spindle nut. Making sure the spindle nut is tight and the cotter pin can now go through the hole in the spindle nut through the axle. Once the spindle nut is tightened and the cotter pin is inserted through the axle, go ahead and bend the cotter pin in each direction to secure it to the axle. Once this is done, go ahead and reattach the dust cover and secure with a rubber mallet. 
Now we're going to assemble the lights. Please remove all cellophane covering from the light lenses. The lights should match up to the labels on the frame, but make sure the left side or driver's side lighting has a clear lens on the bottom that illuminates the state license plate. It also should include in the box a license plate holder for the left side. Once finished with the right rear tail light, proceed to the front right signal light. Simply slide the plug and play lighting through the hole and snap together. This light will require a small Phillips screwdriver to attach. The left rear signal light will install the same as the right. The only difference is you will also need to install the license plate holder. The license plate holders will be held together with the nuts located at the back of the signal light.